A lot of people seem to be getting locked out of their blogs by um, going to the site admin in their blog, going down to settings, and then for whatever reason changing the WordPress address or the blog address. Uh, that seems to pop up regularly in the support forums at WordPress.org. Now I've already made a video to show you how to recover from that uh, if you get locked out. And it's uh, changed WordPress blog address and settings locked out how to fix. And in this video I show you how to fix the problem uh, in your database using PHP My Admin. I'd recommend you do that if you can get to PHP My Admin uh, because that's the only way to actually fix the problem. But if you can't get to PHP My Admin for whatever reason uh, and you have FTP access, then there's another way that you can actually patch your blog uh, to get access to it. Uh, now I wouldn't recommend to do this and use this technique as a, a long-term solution. Uh, it'll get you back in your blog and your blog will work. Uh, but once you get in the blog, then at some point you need to go in your database and actually fix the problem. Uh, but let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Uh, let's say that, uh, for example, my test blog 6 here, it's at edgychalk.org slash blog 6. It's all working fine. Uh, of course, I don't have a lot of stuff in it. I just have a default install here. Uh, but let's say that for some reason I go to my site admin one day and go into settings and I change this address here. And I'm just going to change the address and I'm going to call it something obviously uh, different so that you'll know uh, this again when you see it. I'll call this uh, what the heck did I do dot com. Okay. Now I'm sure that there's probably somebody out there with that address so I'm not going to use it for real for anything but let's say that I came in and I changed my blog address. Uh, and it doesn't matter what you change it to. If you change it to anything here that's not your address, you're going to get the same results. So I click Save Changes. And now I can't get to my blog anymore. So uh, I try to go back to uh, uh, my blog. And it's blog 6. And I get this uh, here at, at best. I get a screen with no styling or anything on it. I go down and click log in to try to log in and can't find me. So I've got a problem now I need to fix it. Uh, the video I showed you a minute ago will fix this in the database. Uh, but uh, if you need to or if you want to you can also go to uh, FTP to your site, go to your blog, this is blog 6, and open your config file. So I'm opening the config file in the root of my blog. So go anywhere in your uh, config file here after this DB collate line would be good. Just go here and hit enter a couple times, get you some space, and type in this information here exactly as you see it. Uh, and then the address here is going to be the address to your blog, the proper address, the one you changed from back in that uh, settings section. So you're going to redefine that site URL and that home here. And what this will do essentially is it overrides what's in the database. Uh, and that's why I call it a patch. is because it doesn't actually change what's in your database. It just overrides what's in the database. Um, but it will allow you to get access back to your blog. So I'm going to do this in my config file and save it. And then we'll go back uh, to our blog and see if we have better luck this time. So we go to blog 6, and there it is back. Now I can log in again. So if I log in, though, let's look at one thing here and go back to settings. You'll notice now that your blog address is back to what it should be, but it's no longer editable. You can't change it here anymore. And that's because it's now hard-coded in your config file instead of being read from the database. The, what you put in that config file is overriding what's in the database. So let's go look at what is in the database, because that's important to understand, I think. Uh, we'll go to PHP My Admin, and we're going to Blog 6. This is my database for the blog. And we'll look in the Options table, because that's where the uh, information is stored. And if we look at Site URL, the Site URL in your Options table is still what the heck did I do. Uh, that hasn't changed. If you look on down, we'll go to Page 2 and you look at home here, 
you'll see home in the database is still what the heck did I do that hasn't changed so at some point you need to come in this database and go on your options table and change those values if you don't then you're just you have a, a hidden problem here that could pop up and give you trouble again in the future when you've forgotten all about this uh, and that could happen when you upgrade WordPress sometime in the future and you may uh, uh, put a new config file in and forget to put those values in again and now you have problems and you don't know why um, this problem gets even worse if we're talking about uh, the fact that you have moved your blog from one web address to another web address and you do this patch here instead of going in and fixing the problems in the database because when you do that then you not only have these two values the home and the blog URL that will be wrong in the database but you'll also have hundreds of uh, web addresses in your database are, that's still wrong that are in the uh, post and comments and so forth uh, so all you're doing when you go and you do this patch is exactly that you're patching your blog so that you can get access back to it uh, but then you need to go in and actually fix the blog so to fix it look at that other video it's really not that difficult if you have access to PHP my admin then all you do is you find these two entries uh, here if uh, if all you did was just change those settings and you got locked out and you come in and you change them back to what they should be so I'll come here and I'll change this to blog 6 and come down and hit go and then go back and change the other entry there's two and I explained this in the first video that's your site URL and change that as well now if we look I should have my proper web address back in my database now for there and on page two it may be different on your site depending mine's in uh, option ID number 39 is probably where you'll find it uh, edgechalk.org block six so you want to change that home and that uh, site URL value both okay now that you have those changed now if I do go back to my blog and look my blog's still working I go to site admin uh, go to uh, settings tab and I see that that uh, it's still right here but it's still not editable and the reason is because I still have it overridden in that uh, PHP config file so now that I have it changed in the database I can come back into my config file and I can take this patch out of my config file and save and then close now I'll go back to my blog and everything should be back to normal I'll just refresh my page here and now these are editable again you can see okay, so now you have your blog fixed instead of patched uh, so it's important I think to know the difference between patching something and fixing something because you can patch something and it might work for you now building in problems for the future uh, at some point uh, even if you do need to use this patch to regain access to your blog uh, you'll be doing yourself a big favor if you get into your database and actually fix those URLs. Uh, and if it's just a matter of you going to settings in general and changing these two addresses, then all you need to do is fix those two URLs in your database. If it's a matter that you have actually moved your blog from one web address to another web address, uh, then you need to export that database uh, and go in and actually uh, search and replace these URLs and uh, again I show you how to do that uh, in depth uh, in the other video well here I'll just show you while I'm here there's another video uh, that I have on my site uh, here it's called how to move WordPress to a different server and web address if you watch that video then it shows you how to go in and, and uh, uh, dump your database and do a search and replace on all the web addresses uh, in your database to get them cleaned up and, and uh, get them proper. So hopefully this will help some of you uh, regain access to your blog, whether it's through patching it or actually fixing it in the database. Uh, and then if you do need to use this patch, uh, then you'll know that uh, at some point you, you really should go in and uh, fix your database.